Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. All right. My earphones then. Wait a second. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening, good evening. How are you? I'm great. Nice. Good evening, good evening. Some people saying good evening on the chat. Very good, very good. Good evening. I'm still working, but I'm going to attend the class unless I get a call. All right, nice. Thanks for informing. Thanks. Thanks, thanks, thanks. All right. Actually, you can also have reactions. Let me see. It's pretty hard. I okay. guess. Okay. Oh, nice. Thumbs up. Okay, good evening, everybody. I hope you're fine. I hope you are okay. I hope you have survived another busy day. Okay, <laughs> I see. Julissa. All right, still working, Julissa, still working, still at work. Okay. Let's see. Still more messages? Do we have more messages on the chat? All right, no, fine, good. Nice. Well, this is our session number three. Today is September the 27th, almost finishing this month. Let's check it out. Yeah. Okay. So I would like to welcome everybody to this session. I hope you're fine. I hope you have already had dinner and a little bit of rest so you can have some battery, some energy to be able to participate, attend, practice, and learn. So, um, all right, somebody else reporting as a listener. Roberto <laughs> Saúl, because we got two Saúls, right? Uh, interesting. The first time I think in a, in a, in a group of participants I have this repeated name all right well yeah the only thing I would like to mention for everybody to be aware that if they're just listeners it's very little you can do because most of the times uh, participants are interacting practicing discussing arguing and if you're just listening and you're not joining the breakout rooms then there's not much you can practice not even as a listener, right? So just to clarify that. Well, having said that, the reminders, the common reminders, the, yes, the usual reminders for the sessions, okay, to be in class, 100%, okay, um, definitely, your attendance is effective as you participate, okay? And of course, we take attendance twice and gotta say present. And this time, not only present, I'm gonna ask you to participate a little bit more. And the sessions one on one, this is something, yes, I've been reminding you. Of course, what is expected, the expectations of the, let's say, 
appropriate behavior is to use all the functions and the options you have on the platform of Zoom. All right, so that the microphone is silence, use camera, chat break rooms, and respect at all times. All right. D for anything else. Yeah. These are the objectives. I have included the objectives for the whole unit for the whole week. So uh, uh, expressing advantages and disadvantages of indirect and distribution channels, direct and indirect actually, okay. Decide on the most appropriate distribution channel for the probe based on the information from a matrix analysis. This sounds a little bit very technical, I would say instead. Compare distribution options to fit a product's target market, provide suggestions to retail or businesses. All right, definitely. It's business English, right? So English for work, definitely related to work. All right. It's raining. Oh my goodness. It's raining in Aguachapan. Mr. Atilio is reporting. All right. Let's have attendance for the first time during the session. And let's hope. Let's hope that you are able to paraphrase, describe, and share what you have been through this course, okay? This is our third class, so tell us what you have learned, what you have done, what you have studied, what you have um, discovered, how you have felt, okay? That's fine as well just sharing how you have managed these two and this third class during this course all right so instead of just saying present you have to share a little bit about your learning so far okay briefly you don't have to extend you don't have to speak for five or ten minutes you just tell us briefly okay in few sentences, how your experience has been so far on this course. I mean, I know it's been short time, but you already have an insight. All right. Are we ready? Let's get started. Abigail Elizabeth. Mm, I'm afraid she's not attending this course. All right, Atilio Ernesto. Present. Present teacher. Hi. Tell us. Tell us. Present teacher. Yes, tell us your opinion. I'm afraid he won't be able to speak either. Stephanie, Elizabeth, Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, would you like to share? Yes. All right, go ahead. Okay, Um, I feel good with these classes. I really like them. Um, so far, I think I have, I have been learned so much. And um, yeah. All right, nice, thanks. Emerson? Hello, would you like to share your experience? Well, at this moment, at this time from this class, from today, uh, I'd like to say that i really glad with this class because I have, I noticed that I learned too much. I mean, I feel comfortable with, with this class because okay. uh, the the practicing is that I that I'm looking for. So I I feel glad with this class. I feel so glad. I, I will, okay, confident and glad. Uh, nice. Thank you, thank you to you for your right. your effort to teach us English. That's all right. Yes, just for everybody to keep it in mind when we say that positively. Something positive is say very much. 
Okay, when we say mm, too much, it's kind of negative because it refers, for example, to the emphasis in too, too much, too old, too big, too small, too crowded. So the concept is kind of negative. For example, when you say, what about the traffic in the morning? Or you say, oh, it's too much. What about work? It's too much. So that the concept is usually negative. So we want to emphasize something positively, we say very much. All right? Okay, Fernando? Morning, morning. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Um, I have rare new words and concepts, but I still get a little bit nervous speaking. And I visit the page web to do the homework, one per day, and I think we're going good. Here. We're going well. Nice. Yes. yes. Actually, it's totally normal and understandable that we get nervous when we got to participate in another language. But the more we do it, the better. Because the more we do it, we start losing that fear, that nervousness. And soon we're going to realize that we feel more confident and more natural, right? Speaking another language. That's great. Actually, you're doing a great, a great work. Great job. All right. Next person would be Francisco. Yes, Francisco Ernesto, right? I think I saw Francisco. Oh, his very formal photo. <laughs> Such a very business suit attire. Mr. Francisco? Maybe he's not able to answer right now. Hazel? No. Juan Antonio? Nope. Julissa? Still working? Okay, Julissa says present on the chat. Oh my God. Carla? I thought Carla was here, but apparently no. Luis Javier? No. Magdiele Saúl? Hi, teacher. Are you yeah. able to share your experience so far? Um, I have learned uh, a new word nowadays. I would like to uh, speak like a native speaker do, but I'm I, 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 I'm learning. Yes, I'm in the process. Yes. Yeah, learning yeah. is a process. It's a learning process, okay? Yeah, nice. thank you so much. All right, great. Okay, Manuel Alexander. Well, I have to call on everybody's name anyway. That's part of the policies, right? Marilyn Alejandra, Mario Ernesto. Yes, hey, Marilyn, would you like to share? Um, I am working right now, but I can hear you. All right. My goodness, these people are very hard working. They were so hard and so late. <laughs> okay. All right. Mario Ernesto. We didn't get Mario Ernesto either. Roberto Saul. Oh, 
All right, Roberto Tabu also explained on the chat that he's working. Ronald? Present teacher. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry because I I Working. I entered I entered late uh, to the class. What is activity or what, uh, no, what no, experience? No, no, no. You just share your experience so far in class. How uh, have you felt? Okay. Uh, I feel I feel good. I am. I have. I have uh, so much interest because uh, one of my main objectives is to to be more fluent and to be more articulate to to speak to connect ideas. That's great. Awesome. Thanks for sharing. Really good. All right, Victor. Vidal Byron. And Waldir. Um, I think Waldir will be the next one to express himself. Hi, good evening, Tisha. Good evening. Um, I think that in, so far I have learned some new vocabulary, like the, in the first class that we learned about distribution channels. So I think that that is something new to me. Mm -hmm. All right, great. Have you explored the platform in the, in the manual already? Yes, I have explored that. I have. I have seen the the homework that we have to. Uh, yeah. right. It's something new to, to me. Like it's something new to me because it's the first time that I'm uh, on an online kind of course. course. Yes. All right. right. Nice. It's not another way of learning, but yeah, definitely we have to be disciplined. We have to be organized. <laughs> yes, and we have to work hard. I know it requires some effort. All right. Good. Well, thanks to the one who participated. That insight works a lot for me because I know where you are, how you handle the activities so far. And that's what we have to keep doing. Okay, it's a five weeks course. And definitely we have to put a lot of effort to be here, to participate to do the activities, as I always mention, it requires, yes, hard work. Otherwise, the medical doesn't happen, okay? So it's a matter of working hard, completing exercises, practicing, interacting, and so on and so forth. Good evening, teacher, I'm here. Hey, no hey, problem. you return. Yes, I'm sorry. What happened to you yesterday? Did you have any incident, any inconvenience yesterday not to be in class? Yes, for help and um, work. Oh, really? Sorry yeah. to hear that. Okay. Yeah. But yes. You're back. You're back. That's great. That counts. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, actually, I see that many people were privileged here. So let's keep going. Let's continue. I was sharing. Actually, I'm very excited about today's class because um, I would say that once you start doing some sort of classes, you start getting interested. Um, I would say, me, it's the first time teaching this level in specific. I've taught so many other levels at English Corporativo, but not this one before. So I started exploring, you know, and planning. And I said that, yeah, we all can learn so much, so much from this material. We can learn, we can take advantage, we can take the best of this material. All right? So I have some links. I'm going to post this links on the chat. You can access to the links and practice on the exercises. Once you have completed the exercises, okay, you can um, interact with your partner and exchange and discuss, right, why the answers. 
this is something related to what we have been studying. It's not something different. It's something very related to what we have been studying to the previous classes, okay? So let me just copy and paste this link right here and access to it. You just please confirm if you can access to the links, all right? Okay, Starla Ivanian, thank you. Let me know if you could enter to the link. Yes. Okay, perfect. Work in it. Try to solve them. And just one shot. Mm -hmm. Actually, you can do it as many times as you want. Sorry, teacher, can you share exactly link? Because this is imagine. An image. Yeah. Hold on. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. right. oh, oh, oh. I thought I had shared the link. I'm sorry, my bad. I apologize. Let's see. It's a, the same one. It seems to be the same one. Could you enter now? Peter is about place the boxes in the correct order. Wait a second. Could you repeat that? It's about place the boxes in the correct order. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Ah, está también. Hi, Emerson. Okay, let me let me share a uh, screen. I'm on the computer right now. Okay. Let's see. Um, Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, so we have to place the, the boxes in the, in the correct order. Hmm. It's the boxes in the correct order. Repeat. Did you place the boxes in the correct order? I already did, and I got six out of ten. I I made a mistake with aging and wholesaler. So 
I don't know about you. How do you? Which is your order? So in the the teacher joined the, the room. Maybe you can tell her. Yes. Tell me. How can we help you? I think Francisco has problem with Wi Fi. Oh really? Because... With his internet connection. Yes, I because I hear him like far and, mm. and I don't know. <laughs> oh, I've interacted with Marley. Okay. All right. Hi, Marilyn. Oh. Scroll with search for for wool seller to say, say to sales his product and retail retailers uh, sells to customers. Yeah, you're right. We finished the share. All right, thank you. So, please, what, what, what do you do? Oh, oh. What's the exercise? Easy? Too easy. So so. <laughs> so so. What was the order? Mm, the first one is producer. Mm -hmm. The second one is agent. Mm -hmm. But I was wrong because I put wholesaler. All and right. the third one, uh -huh, and the third one is wholesaler. Mm -hmm. The fourth one is retailer or retail, and mm -hmm. the last one is consumer. The consumer, right. That was easy, very easy. All right. Hold on. Now we're improving. <laughs> we are putting this into practice, and very similar. We're going to work on another exercise, very similar, so you don't have to miss anything. Just let me add it to the, my goodness. I see Francisco is not feeling well. Oh my God. All right. I'm going to add this other link. Well, it's for the same resource but another exercise check it out let's see if it works let's see if you can access to it it works all right perfect so start working on it read it professionally and see of course the vocabulary you have it on the top you just rewrite it because you cannot drag it so you, you just have to type it and then we compare 
I'll give you a couple of minutes to work on it. This is the, the link and this is the, the exercise. So let's see. Complete the distribution of the distribution channel used for. Lock them in warehouses. So, oh, you have to read. Yeah. Mm. Okay. <laughs> Often sell books to. Mm. Often sell books to. Booksellers. Booksellers. Yeah, maybe. Who stock, stock them, them in warehouses mm -hmm. and deliver small quantities to retailers. Marilyn said that she's in work too. It's at work. That's true. All right. Give me a second. Okay. And then it says increasingly, however, people are uh, ordering, ordering books. So. Ordering books uh, online, which mm -hmm. I deliver, Makes which sense. are delivered by mail. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. And then we say. Uh, produce no producers, uh, sales representative submission. Uh, don't have that now. Publishers, uh, no. We have to we have to to use only the the words in the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, producers of the set books to Walsers who stock them in warehouses and deliver booksellers. Or I think, um, I think that uh, instead of producers, it could be publishers because you are talking about uh, publishers who sell their books to a wholesaler or a bookseller because mm -hmm. I don't find I don't find any any word that is that makes sense for the second for the second paragraph. It makes sense. A publisher. Mm -hmm. makes sense. It could... Maybe he is a high producer of machines. Mm -hmm. um, It would be producers of machines, 
and technical equipment often have their own publishers. Customers. Own customers. Who visit Maybe potential. Sales representative who visit potential customers. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, yes, right. Often, often have their own sales representatives. Customer. Mm -hmm. If they are, if they are selling machines abroad. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Selling machine abroad. Companies sometimes work with local agents in each market. Publisher, mm how -hmm. ordering online producers, sales representatives, customers, customers selling around. Uh, let's see. Mm, booksellers is like uh, retailers, I think. Okay. Oh, uh, I I already finished, and I know what we got wrong place. <laughs> oh, it's it's wrong. This this, this those no, things. that that is good. The suite is between producers and publishers. Oh, okay. Publisher after yeah. some book of terror. It makes sense. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, but, yes, but because producer of machine and technical equipment of the yes, simple. And group. that is the only, yes. the only switch. Everything else is fine. Okay. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Related to that, have you have you ever ordered online books, or you prefer to, if you buy, if you if you normally buy books, you you buy it in in a store or do you order online? I prefer buy personality. Physical. Oh, physical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you. What about you? I I have, I have I have I have bought uh online, but uh, when I when I have the opportunity, I try to, uh, to buy uh, to buy books uh, in physical in a physical store, right? But sometimes it it happens that the that the store doesn't have the the book that I'm that I'm looking for. So, uh, when I when I know somebody that uh, that um, uh, these people that that how you say encomiendas, uh, sometimes I I I try to to order some books, mm -hmm. but I but I think that I, uh, because if if a people can can carry with with them but uh, normally i prefer uh, I, I prefer to uh, to buy physical yeah nowadays is is common order by by online yes or 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 sometimes uh, even today it's not necessarily uh, so many people doesn't like physical physical books they they have a they 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 read it online so uh, for example this this 
a tablet from Amazon that is called Kindle. Uh, that I, I I don't know I don't know how it functions how it function, but I think wow. that you is it, like a, it's like a special tablet to read books. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, I think that a good app for that is the the Google. Uh, I mean, what is the name? Let me see. The Playbooks. That is an app from Google. Uh, you uh, can you can read the book in a phone, a tablet, or even in the computer, and everything is connected. If you make a, a I don't know a note, a comment in a book in your phone, you can mm -hmm. uh, retake that comment in the computer. And you don't have to, and you don't necessarily have to buy the book. You can download it from any repository, I, I don't know, repository, and mm -hmm. you can um, upload that 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 book, and you can have it uh, in the in the in your like library. And you, mm -hmm. So I think that is a good um, app for, for reading. With the connectivity, and also you don't have. I think that in Amazon Kindle, you only are like, you are limited to to use only the book that they sell. Everybody return. Yes. 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 Done. Perfect. All right. What was the order? The first paragraph. Is there any volunteer to read it? I will read the first paragraph. All right. Go ahead. Publishers often sell books to wholesalers who are standing in warehouse and deliver small quantities to retailers, booksellers. Increasingly, however, people are ordering books online, which are delivered by mail. Very good, excellent. You got a 10. <laughs> okay, you, you saw your grade, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, <laughs> all right. So the next paragraph, somebody else? I will read it. Um, right. These producers of machines and technical equipment often have their own sales representatives who visit potential customers. If they are selling machine, machines abroad, companies sometimes work with local agents in each market. That's right. Well done, well done. Was it easy to discover the right words? Um, I, I take a... Uh, in not a lot of time, but to analyze the the, the structure, the and context, the, right? The context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, at the beginning, I saw some of you hesitating in the first word, with publishers and producers, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, done. Awesome. Well, these two exercises were just for practice, the previous topic, and to reinforce, okay, the content that we have been studying. And that's awesome, because you have worked on them pretty well. Okay, 
Let me go on. Okay. And we get to the point of starting a little bit of vocabulary. <laughs> okay. This is more related probably not to the content of the distribution channels, but to the content of expressing in English, right? And in this case, we're going to express certainty. So how to use expressions of certainty. And, you know, sometimes we'd say the ideas and maybe we're not that aware of the right use or the right place where to place the expressions. But we're gonna study this chart, of course. Somehow I'm going to read it. So you can also, you know, like pause or interrupt, it's fine. So let me get started. How to use expressions of certainty. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. So definitely we have to read this. Use these expressions to show how certain or sure you feel about an action or event. It's not that you only can use these expressions in this context, but of course, since we're talking about this distribution channel, so we're, I mean, most of the examples are related to it. So the first one says, this is like the first rule, let's say, Give me one second. I just get to probably spotlight this. Expressions of certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the auxiliary verb. If there's only a main verb, well, no problem. It goes before the main verb. But if it has an auxiliary in the main verb, so the expression usually goes in between after the auxiliary and the main verb. As in the first sentence, the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. So certainly for sure is the expression of certainty. And coming is the main verb. And is is acting as an auxiliary of the continuous tense, right? So the investor is certainly coming tomorrow. Should be the right, let's say order of the words. The second example, the managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. In this case, there's only one verb, only the main verb, so choose. So perfectly, the expression of certainty comes before the verb. So the managers obviously choose the wholesale approach to distribution. So far so good on the first chart, the first square. Yeah. Gotta be certain, okay. <laughs> All right. So we go to the second. This would be the second rule, let's say. Enclosed, of course, and in all likelihood. Well, this expression is not common at all. I was doing a little bit of research and it's probably most used in British. But they have included it here. So enclosed, of course, and in all likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence. So this can be the investment meant, comma, of course, comma, a pay raise for the employees. In this case, if we are talking, obviously we don't use the comma. I mean, at least we don't see the commas. We make the poses probably, but we don't see the commas, right? And Ed and Philip are comma, you know, likelihood, 
coma ready to make their business grow. So these are like kind of the special rules, I would say. Uh-huh, the next one. Sometimes expressions of certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. I don't know if you remember the use of adverbs of frequency. So the expression, these expressions of certainty are kind of similar in the way they are placed, right? After the auxiliary, before the main verb, before the main verb, and sometimes at the beginning of a sentence, but if you put the, at, the, at the beginning of a sentence, you make a pause with a comb. So surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubtless, the shipment will arrive on time. So this expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. Be mm -hmm. sure why doubtless. Mm -hmm. No doubts. Teacher, mm -hmm. what is doubtless? No doubts. No doubts. Ah, sorry. Exactly. When you say I'm moneyless and timeless. Moneyless. Uh -huh. Okay. Doubtless. Less means that no. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. So, the speechless. <laughs> That's a very common expression. So this expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. So if you remember studying the adverse of frequency with the adverse of frequency of sometimes can be used in these three positions in a sentence between you know the subject and the verb at the beginning or at the end. So this um, expressions of certainty kind of follow the same pattern, right? So these expressions can also be used at the end of a sentence, obviously separated by a comma. Partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers, obviously, right? And if you use it at the end when you are speaking, you definitely have to make the post and emphasize the expression at the end, right? So check it out, study it a little bit, read it, reread it. And I'm going to give you some minutes for you to discuss these rules with your partners as well. Maybe your partners can clarify, can explain if you still have not that clear, the, the idea of using the expressions. But this is more interacting, not necessarily like you're teaching your partners how to use them because you're just rereading. Okay, making sure that you understand what is expressed on this chart. All right. Teacher, I have yes. a question. Tell me. Um, could be use uh, certainly uh, um, part at the first uh, sentences separated at the beginning, with comma. At the beginning at of the, the beginning. sentence. Certainly, yeah. the investor is coming tomorrow. Yes. Um, That's okay. what I told you. It can be used in the middle, at the beginning, or at the end. Or if you want to follow the order, like at the beginning, in the middle, or at the end. Okay. Yeah, but the most common, most likely would be in the middle. But of, of course, and in all likelihood, only between. Mm, they may also occur at the beginning. Of course, no one is doing this exercise, let's say. But if they occur in between, they are in close, like a parenthesis. Put in between, so they are in commas. Okay, I get even it. Though, even though, you know, likelihood, I haven't heard it at the beginning. Maybe because it's not very common or it's kind of, old English. People will say most likely instead of, you know, likelihood. Oh, so most likely is like similar in all likelihood? Yeah. It's very probable. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. So now we can share rereading. Not necessarily you have to create other examples. You just reread. Make sure you understand what you read. And if you want to provide other examples, it's fine. But it's not a must. Okay. I'm not quite sure your groups are working properly. But just in case uh, you will stay alone or nobody's participating, I will put you in another room. Okay? Don't worry. Hi. Hi. Hello, Luis. For what? Yes. We have to yeah, read. I only, only have to read, right? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, hold on first. <clears throat> um, expressions of certain, certain, uh, mm -hmm. certainty appear before the main verb in a sentence but after the auxiliary verb for example the investor is cert certainly coming tomorrow the managers obviously cho chose the wholesale approach to distribution mm -hmm. okay in close of course and uh, in all likelihood in commas when they occur in the middle of the sentence the investment meant, of course, a pay rise for the employees. Ed and Philip are, in all likelihood, ready to make their business grow. Uh, sometimes expression of certain say certainty can be placed at the beginning of the sentence. Certainly, the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubtless, the ship shipment will arrive on time okay, uh, this expression these expressions can also be used at the end of that sentence partnering with a retailer will help us reach many more customers obviously um how how do you say uh In class of um, in all likelihood, in commas, when they occur in the middle of the sentence, <clears throat> the investment meant, of course, a pay, a pay rise for the years. Ed and Philip are, in all likelihood, really ready to make their business grow. Okay, my turn. Sometimes expression of certainty can be replaced 
at the beginning of the sentence. Surely the managers will know how to arrange for distribution. Doubtless the shipment will arrive on time. This expression can also be used at the end of a sentence. Partnering with a retailer will help us reach many customers, obviously. Okay. Maybe with another like example of how to use these expressions, I think it would be more clear to us to understand everything. Yeah, that's right. We we would. Uh... But maybe in the in the part five, but that is later. I guess. Make another examples. Yes. Okay. Surely tomorrow I'm going to assist to my English class. <laughs> Obviously, and of course, that likelihood, and well, certainly, yes, I already heard that. Um, surely, in doubtless, likelihood, and uh, are the are the words for me. So, the first one says, ex Expressions of certainly appear before the main verb in a sentence, but after the secret verb. The series mm -hmm. is uh, coming and choose, but this word it should be with two O's. Choose. C H O O S E. Choose. Choose. Or no, choose. I think that is with double, double O. Oh, that's but, right. Uh, this is chose. Oh, I don't, I will me. I will look. Uh, with the low is oh it knows it is in past. I think uh cho with double low it's is it. choose and choose, yeah. And, and and this is chose. Chose. It is in chose. past. Oh.
Okay. Done. Done, done, done. Nice. Is there still any questions regarding the explanation of the rules on how to use the expressions of certainty? Or everything was clear? Anyone? So, so. So, so. All right. What is still not very clear? Maybe when we can use each this, of them. This... Uh -huh. okay. Like each of the expressions. All right. Some of them are literal, like Spanish, right? So they express, a, let's say, 100% degree of certainty. So like you're very sure those things happen, will happen, or are happening, right? Some of them are possible, like possibilities, right? But if you say no doubts, doubtless, it's definitely that no doubts, okay? So something happened. Obviously, when there are evidences, right? So very, very certain. Certainly, for sure. And uh, let's say um, possibly, uh, you know, likelihood or maybe so there's not a big degree of certainty yeah but that's something we're gonna classify okay into categories right here you definitely have two categories only but there might be some degrees of certainty and some are more probable and some other are now that certain they are they are kind of a possibility okay so you just have this list to divide. Divide the list into categories and words that express certainty and those that express uncertainty. Okay, not very certain. Kind of, hmm, it's uncertain, let's say. So you are not quite sure if that happens or if that is going to happen. All right. Certainly, would be certainty or uncertainty. So you say certainly or real. So is certainty, right? Then we have supposedly. Mm -hmm. Where do you think supposedly goes? Mm -hmm. Uncertainty, uncertainty. Mm -hmm. definitely, right? Let me choose one of the tools. Oh my God, I don't know why these tools have changed since the last time I used them. All right, but let's say certainty, definitely, certainly, sorry, goes in certainty. Oh, they go different now. Supposedly, you say it goes here, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Naturally. In the first column. First one, certainly. All right. Possibly. Uncertainty. Uncertainty, because it's not certain. Apparently. Uncertain. Uncertain. It's very similar to Spanish, right? You say apparent. Okay. <laughs> Presumably. I put it in the second column. The too. second one is still. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, so. Oh, oh my God. Hold on. Of course. I think we say this even with natural, like naturally. Of course. Probably. That's uncertain or certain, probably. So there's a probability. 
So it's not very certain. Obviously. It's obvious. Mm, it's obvious. There's a lot of evidence. Yes. And doubtless. Doubtless. I don't know why I drew this other two arrows. I'm sorry, my bad. As I told you, tools on Zoom have changed so much. All right. So you want to make your classification on your list? Go ahead. Or actually, what we can do, let me just hear all this. Actually, you can take the tool on your toolbar the test annotate if you have it in english and then you can even type here you just choose the text option and you type here on the screen let's see anybody who, who wants to do it so you can even edit here on the screen i have had participants who are able to do that so i have no doubts that you are going to be able to do it as well. Let's see. Let's get the job done. Did you find the options? Looking for them? Mm hmm Anybody can edit? Nobody. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Did you find the options for texting? I mean, for editing the text on the screen? Yes, I find. All right. Want to try it? Mm -hmm. Comes natural. Actually, if you if you do that, then you just take the screenshot and you already have the answers for the exercise. That's just it? because it's it's the same in the platform mm -hmm. that they are. Mm -hmm. So you won't forget. Let's see, let's see. We want to share my screen. Oh, yeah. Or oh, you can do it on this screen, actually. Yours? Uh-huh. Where? <laughs> you just take the, 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 the tool. Oops. Want to try? Mm, I don't find it. You just to scroll or move the cursor and then you'll find it. Ah, uh, text. Uh huh. That one. Uh -huh. <laughs> Zoom is like a new, a new for me. You. Just we because I have received classes on this one before. No, just in Meet and Teams. Teams. Oh, Teams, this is such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say the expression that comes to my mind, but it's definitely saved so many teachers back in the pandemic. Mm. If it hadn't been big, I mean, if it hadn't been for teams, I don't know what we would have done. This one is pretty pretty useful as well but on teams you can store so many things oh there you go
That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else can do for uncertainty. Tell people you're not even trying. <laughs> it's okay if you if you want to type. I'm trying. All right. But I'm not sure if this is the you, correct you way. See oh, yeah. Oh. I see you there. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. Possibly. Presumably. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I think the other one is apparently probably I have heard that people um are more likely to use these expressions at the beginning of the sentence instead of in the middle but grammatically speaking <laughs> the better place let's say to use them are in the middle but it's okay they just want to emphasize probably that is certain or not very certain or uncertain that something happens or will happen or is happening right okay is that it or are we missing anything no that's it yep all right, so you may get the screenshot so that you don't forget when you have to solve the exercises. Okie dokie. So, give me one second. Mm hmm. Okay, we're going to have a little bit of challenge now with using these expressions. You might say, oh, now yeah, this is what we were discussing, okay, the expressions to express. Sounds kind of redundant, actually, to express certainty. And here, you already classify them. But now it's your turn to write sentences using, maybe you're not going to write like five sentences using, certain, I, mean, I mean, the expressions for certainty. Well, let's say two, two or three on each of them, right? Three expressions, uh-huh express uncertainty and three sentences using the expressions of uncertainty all right you can do it on your notebooks you can do it on your own computer you can do it on your own so later on you just discuss or share with your partners okay the examples that you have created so you don't really have to but if you want to write here on the screen it's up to you as well i don't mind it's okay All right. So I'll give you a couple of minutes for you to think of sentences using. If you don't want to create the sentences related to the topic we are studying, it's fine. You can, as long as you use the expressions correctly, no matter the topic being expressed on the sentence. Can talk about rain, <laughs> can talk about sport. 
anything. About the weather. About English, about the class, about participants in the class as well. All right, you got your sentences? Uh, I just got a question. Mm -hmm. Those words, I mean, exist more words. There are like, so many. Uh, like, definitely. Mm -hmm, definitely. Well, there are many more. I, I think I have a list that I will show you later. Don't worry. I just want you to start using them. But there are so many. I mean, I cannot think of all of them right now. Just all of a sudden. But I, I already collected a list of some others. Okay. All right. For sure. Surely. And so on. Okay, let me know when you're done with the sentence. Actually, I got these expressions over here. And you can also use the modal auxiliaries as well when it's not very certain, right? It might be, it could be. Mm -hmm. But right now, let's try to use the ones that book provides. I have my sentence. Great. Okay, um, my mother asked me if I want to eat tacos. Of course, I say yes. <laughs> of course, no doubt. <laughs> uh -huh. In this exercise, Stephanie's the bravest. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> okay. And she's like, nobody else gave any other example. Okay. Good. No, no problem. So, right. Maybe they are still writing. <laughs> they are still taking notes. All right. It's fine. Maybe you feel more confident with your partners. So, you can express the sentences with your partner. I, I'm gonna call right now so maybe we can go ahead and do stretch. Okay. Uh Ronald, do you have the sentence? Uh, I'm I'm writing the okay. I'm writing them. So we have to to write five with any of the of the words, right? Yes. Sure. Okay. Um do it to the to the rain today. Of course, the event. Uh, I'm going to write more sentences too. Ah, okay. Respond.
I got Shirley. I will go to work tomorrow. Obviously, Messi is the best player of the history. My mom is certainly coming to my work tomorrow. The one with, of course, and all likely that those two are like the most difficult to me. How do you say medicamento? This meds 
Eh, with more medicamentos. Meds, I think. Oh, and what is medicine? Medicine, uh huh, uh -huh medicines. These medicines. So uh, yes, I I have it. Uh, so okay. I don't know if you if you start. Uh, okay, sure. Um, okay. Possibly, I have to go to the supermarket to buy milk. The second one, mm -hmm. uh, uh, double S. I need to go to watch the new movie. Um, apparently, it's going to rain. Okay. Um, only one. I use the same uh the same what is um the the same express in other uh sentence so go ahead ah, okay these are yours sorry uh did you finish yes i uh, write the same expression word expression i don't know if that is the way that we call this things okay it's, okay so you repeat the sentence yes <laughs> ah okay okay i will read mine uh the first one number one due to the heavy raining of course the event will be postponed uh, number two, apparently the instructor will not arrive on time to teach the class. Number three, Doveless, tonight's concert is the most spectacular concert I have been. For the number four, for the exam tomorrow, supposedly it will it will last four hours. And number five, the doctor said me that presumably these medicines will be more effective. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. So, Hello, hello. I see some people are still in the rooms. Okay. Now everybody's here. Anyone would like to read or share the sentences? Volunteers? You may raise your hand like this. <laughs> All right. Anyone? Okay, Ronald. Okay, I will read mine. Mm -hmm. The number one, due to the heavy raining, of course, the event will be postponed. Number two, apparently, the instructor will not arrive on time to teach the class. Number three, doubtless, tonight's concert is the most spectacular concert I have been. Number four, for the exam tomorrow, supposedly, it will last four hours. And number five, the doctor say me that presumably these medicines will be more effective. Okay. In the last sentence, the doctor told me would sound better. Uh, told me. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, the doctor said only, but no me, said me. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. His does verbs function like that if you have an object pronoun like me him her 
then you better use tell or or in past told, right? But if you're gonna say just what the person said, then you can just use say or said. And it's more uh, textual what the person said, like more literal words. Okay, someone else? Okay. Good job, good job. Someone else? Or we're going to nominate somebody. And if I say that name and the person hasn't finished or hasn't participated much, we'll have to create the sentences. Mm -hmm. Fernando, are you ready? I got a couple of sentences. All right, go ahead. Uh, obviously, the English class cannot function without the teacher. Uh, other one is, usually I get sick when I eat a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And Apparently, it's going to rain today. Okay, apparently it's going to rain today. All right, nice. Is there anyone else? No? Hmm. so? Yes, me teacher. All right, go ahead. Doubtless. The teacher can speak English very well. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is cloudy. In all likelihood, it will be raining in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. The cook can't obviously cook. Surely the driver doesn't know this place. All right. <laughs> Apparently, the dinner isn't ready. That's all. Yeah. Nice. Okay. No doubts. That lets you have acquired <laughs> the vocabulary. Okay. All right. Since the manual doesn't give, you know, like many exercises, I've been investing some time to uh, look for some other examples so that you can uh, practice a little bit on this. And I have the last exercise for today. Let me share. This definitely, it's very similar to what you just did. And the only difference is that you're gonna do it online. Okay, let me. Today is the 25th anniversary of Google and by some reasons I have gotten a different interface on my screen. All right, so I'm a bit lost. You know, I'm a not technology geek, but I try my very best. All right, I think I put it in the WhatsApp chat, but I will also share it here in this chat. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness, Rages. Okay, I think I'm going to put it right here. Let me know if you can access to the link. The same site, different yes. exercise. All right, good. Work on it, and then we're going to share.
done teaching. Finish? Do you need some more time? Finish, teacher. Done. Perfect. Yes. Finish. Good, good. All right. Super easy. Yes. <laughs> Which expressions use in certain? All that begin with the letter U. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, kind of a hint, right? Undeniably, yes. Unquestionably, unmistakably. Unmistakably. Mm -hmm. Yes. Invariably. Undoubtedly. And the other ones. Definitely hopefully. are lesser, right? Yes. Yeah, probably, hopefully, supposedly. Perhaps. Perhaps. That's maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I hope this um resources and this material has been helpful for you to have a clear idea of this lesson. Just one second, just need to confirm something over here. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Okay. Wait, wait. I'm just double checking on something. Okay. Just a matter of, you know, creating this awareness for tomorrow's class, we're going to talk about the distribution channel decision matrix, right? So get ready, get familiar with it. If there are some possible concepts that you need to get familiar with, it would also be a good idea to do some little research, right? For instance, um, fixed products and brands, probably something that, yeah, we're, we're going to be discussing, but it would be great to bring ideas already with organization profit potential, right? So we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be describing this. And 
of course, at some point, I will also ask you to, let's say, prepare little presentations, right? Probably you're not going to be speaking or delivering a class, but you're going to prepare short presentations. So I hope um you can be ready with the, these resources because it will also be great to have you sharing and building on the knowledge that you already have of the language, right? So I'm just telling you to get, I mean, a little bit of extra and be more curious because curiosity definitely is key in learning and mainly learning another language. All right, so this is just to give you a hint of what we're going to be doing tomorrow. All right. Is there sure. any question or anything you would like to ask or add? In that presentation, is... we we have to already... No, it's ready. not going to be for tomorrow. For tomorrow, oh, okay. I'm just telling you to get familiar with the vocabulary, oh, okay. to do some little research. But in okay. future occasions, yes, you will have the instructions, you will have the guidelines for you to prepare a short presentation. But in that sense, you will have to do some research regarding the topic of the presentation. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. No problems. All right, anyone else? No? Are you sure? Sure, sure. Well, tomorrow is Thursday already. It's our fourth. Yes, our class number four. All right. It's time for us to have the last attendance. Abigail is not here. Atelio, are you still here? Here I am. All right. Elizabeth and Stephanie. Present teacher. Fine? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Emerson. Teacher, I'm here. Hi. I, I thought you were not here because at the beginning I didn't hear your voice. Uh, <laughs> sorry, teacher. All right. Emerson, Fernando. Present. Yay. <laughs> okay, Francisco Ernesto. Present, Miss. All right, Hazel. Juan Antonio. Julissa. Julie. I saw your pressing on the chat only. I guess. Carla. I think Carla reported herself also on the chat. Let me check. Present teacher. Oh, yeah. True. Thanks. Luis Javier. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. But you're not a singer, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> not today. <laughs> no. All right. Magdiel is old. Present. Manuel Alexander. Present. Marlene. Manuel. Present. Oh, may I ask you a question? Um, yes. Why aren't you able to participate in the conversations? Sorry? Is there any problem or any inconvenience for you to participate in the discussion or the other exercises? For today, yes. What happened? Because I have uh, in this uh, well, in Wednesday I have other class at the same at the same uh, time schedule. The same the time same uh, for this uh, I only for but well only for today I expect uh, from the other next days I participate more. All right, thanks, thanks. I appreciate it, Marlene.
is Marilyn Gon, I think. Mario Ernesto, Roberto Saúl. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi. All right. You know, in my classes at the foundation, I have another Esau, but his name is Alan Esau. Ah, really? <laughs> so it's three Esau's this time. Three Esau's, okay. Mm -hmm. Ronald. Present. Ronald Alexander. Everybody calls you Ronald or Alexander? Ronald. Mm. All the life. <laughs> <laughs> so if somebody calls you Alexander, you don't know who that is. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Victor. Present. Okay, Victor, the same question for you. No, teacher. Yes. I would like to know why you aren't able to participate. Vidal Byron and Waldir. Present. Thank you. So, Emerson is not here, right? Yeah, I said present teacher, but, but the Elizabeth speak at the same time. Ah, as me. all right. Yeah. So, it's your turn today. Are you able to participate on the one on one session? Yes, I mean, this day, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, I'm the night shift, but if only they're not getting a lot of requests from customers, mm. I'm able to participate. Oh my God. I admire you because I wouldn't be able to be in classes and working at the same time. <laughs> yeah, but, right. you know, we have to do the effort in order to improve. The yeah, so we'll English. stay with Emerson and everybody go and rest, please. And see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night.